This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input, we are given a date. So for our sample input 1, the given date is 20th January 2020. So our task is to print the previous month and the next month details. So the previous month to January is the previous year December month. So in the first line of our output, we have to print the previous year December month. So the previous year is 2019 and the month is December. So December will always have 31 days. So in the first line of our output, we are printing the December month details. So the next month will be February. So after January, the next month will be February. So in 2020, February will be having 29 days. So we are printing February 2020 and 29 days. So whenever the input month is January, we will be moving to the previous year December month. And if the input month is December, then we will be moving to the next year January month. So only for January and December, we should be moving to other years. For all the remaining month, we will be present within the same year only. So for example, in our sample input 2, here the given input month is August. So it is not either January or December. So it is some month which is other than that. So here we are always present within the same year. So we are printing the July month details and the September month details. So now let us see how we will be writing a C program for this. So first I am creating a function named isleep. So it accepts an integer in its argument which represents the year. So this function is expected to return 1 if the year is a leap year else it should return 0. So here we have to implement a logic for that. So next we have another function named print full month. So in the argument it again accepts an integer. So this integer represents the month. So if it is 0 then it represents the January month. If it is 1 then it represents February month. So like that. So here we have to print the full month name. So we should not print the short forms like Jan, Feb. We should print the full month names like January, February. And coming to the main function, first I am creating integer variables dd and yyy. And then next I am creating two character arrays named date and mm. So we will be accepting our input as a string format and we will be storing into the date character array. And then using the date character array, we will be finding out the date, month and year of the given input date. So here, first using a scanf, I am accepting the input date and I am storing into the character array date. So now, first you are going to find out the year from the date. So, it is given in the question that the input date will always be present in the format dd and then 3m and 4y. So all the characters from 7 will be representing the year. So in order to obtain all the integers from 7, we have to use ampersand symbol. So this is the syntax, ampersand date. In the square brackets, we should give 7. So all the characters after 7 will be converted into a single string. So using a tie function, we are going to convert it into an integer. So that integer is nothing but the input here. So we are storing it into the variable yyyy. So now we have obtained the year. So we can delete it. So I am setting date of 6 is equal to null. So now from the input date, we have removed the year. Now we have to store month and date. So next we are going to store the month. So month will be in character array format. So all the characters from index 3 will now be representing the month. So I am storing all these characters into mm. So this is how we will be storing the month. So now we can delete the month. So we are, I am setting date of 2 is equal to null. So now all the remaining characters in the character array date represents the input date. So we can just make use of the atai function and we can convert it into an integer and I am storing into dd. So next I am creating another character array named month. Here in this character array we are storing the short forms of every month because in our input the month will be given in short form. So in order to find that only we are creating this character array named month and next we have an integer array which contains the total number of days present in each and every month. So the first integer 31 represents the number of days in January and then 28 represents the number of days in February. So like that every integer will represent the number of days in every month. So again if it is a leap year then February will have extra month. So using that function we are checking whether the input year is leap year. If it is then we will increment the day by 1. So now we are going to implement our logic for finding the previous and next month details. So first we have to find the month. So we are going to iterate through the months array. 
so the month array is nothing but in which we have stored the month in short form because our input month mm is also in short form so that is why we are iterating through the month array so this loop iterates from 0 to i less than 12 so in every iteration using strcmp we are going to compare months of i and mm because both are in short form so whenever we have found the month we have to do two things so the first is we have to print the previous month details and we have to print the next month details and here there are three cases so if it is january month then in order to find the previous month we should be moving to the previous year similarly if it is december month then in order to print the next month details we should be moving to the next year and for all the remaining month we will be present within the same year so first we are going to see for january month so january month means i will be equal to zero so we can just directly print the month names in the print of statements so december and then percentage d and december will always have 31 days so we can print those things in the print of statement itself so the only thing is we have to subtract the year by one and then the next month for january will be february so here also we would have calculated the days so we can just print our output so this is how we will be printing our output whenever it is january so the next we have to write the condition for the month of december so in the else if i'm checking whether i is equal to 11 or not so if i is equal to 11 then it means it is the month of december so for december we have to print the november month details as well as the january month details so november month details we can easily print it for january month we have to increment the year alone and then we come into the else block so we come into the else block for all the remaining months except january and december so here we have to print the previous month details and the next month details so in order to print the previous month name we are going to use this function named print full month so already we have seen how we should be describing this function so here in the arguments we are passing i minus 1 so we will be printing the previous month name in full form so we should not use short forms like j a n f e b so we should be printing the full month name january february like that and then again using a print of statement we can print the year and the number of days present in this particular month so those details are present in the given input as well as the array days so we can use them and print our output so now we have printed only the previous month details similarly we have to write two more lines of code in order to print the next month details so what is the only difference is for january and december month we will be directly printing the month name in print of statement but in the else part we can't do that because there will be several possibilities so in order to print the month name alone we are using this function named print full month so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching